Hello everybody. Today I'll talk about what's the difference between open telemetry and eager. These are two different concepts and two different projects in the CNCF ecosystem which somehow confuses people. Many people ask us, hey, are open telemetry and eager same? Uh, can one use one versus the other? The answer is no. These are two different projects and the comparison is not an apple to apple comparison. It's apple to an orange comparison. And let me take you through first on what are the basics of each of these projects. And then I will try to highlight how do these differ and where do they intersect, which is where many of the confusion arises. If you come to open telemetry website, you see that it's primarily a project to enable generation of telemetry data. So the goal of the open telemetry project is to enable easy creation of telemetry data, which includes all the signals. So as of now, it supports metrics, traces and logs. But going forward, they have also proposals to support new type of signals like profiling. But that's where the key focus of the project is. To just walk you through a quick diagram of what open telemetry is, it consists of different uh, libraries, APIs and SDKs which generates this telemetry data and an OTEL collector, which is open telemetry collector, which helps you get data from these different SDKs and libraries and then transmit it to different sources. And you can get data from like traces uh, directly from applications or from your Kubernetes, or you can have different uh, sources which are supported which send logs to you. And then you need to figure out a way to store this data for long term and also an observatory front end to visualize it. And this is where most of the backend uh, products like Signals, uh, Jaeger, etc. come into play. So I will explain what is what what do these backend products do, but let's first dive deeper into what is open telemetry collector, right? So open telemetry collector is part of open telemetry project. Its main goal is to have a vendor agnostic way to receive, process and export telemetry data. And as the definition suggests, it has three main components, uh, receivers, processors and exporters. Receivers enable you to get data from different sources. For example, you can get data from Prometheus, you can get data in OTLP format, or you can get data from say a particular host. And then you can process this data. Either you make it as batches and process it or use a filter processor to remove the PIA data in the logs and traces or you can do some manipulation on the attributes to get the logs and traces in the format you want it to be. After that, once you have done the processing, you can export it to different formats. For example, you can export it to Jaeger, you can export it in an OTLP format and to a backend which understands OTLP data and then help, can help you visualize it and store it for longer term. So once you have understood uh, OTL collector, let's come back to this diagram. So if you see open telemetry primarily focuses on generating this SDK API data in the SDK data. This part is still not in the scope of this project. So they, this doesn't get into the visualization of the data. How can users use this data to figure out issues happening in their applications or infrastructure? Or how can they store this for longer term? Do they want it to store longer term in S3 or in any other databases? This is where any vendor which supports open telemetry data like Signals or products like uh, Jaeger come into play. And this is a good segue to understand what does the Jaeger project do. So if you think about it, Jaeger project is primarily focused on one thing and one thing only. So it's focused on the tracing data, right? So 
let me find out where that Jaeger project. So if you see from their website, it's an open source distributed tracing platform. It helps you uh, see how the applications are architected, what traces data are there, help you see dependency graph on them, and then actually help you find and fix bottleneck issues, right? So just taking an example from this uh, graph, which uh, blog, which Yuri, which is one of who is one of the maintainers has written. So if you see, if you open Jaeger and send traces data to it, you will see a visualization like this, where you see different traces. You can see how much time are they taking? What's the hierarchy of the calls being made? and then be able to find a particular trace, etc. So this is where the Jaeger UI focuses on and the Jaeger backend focuses on storing that data for longer term, uh, being able to do um, manipulation with data, that data, etc. Right. So now we have understood what's the, how, what are the like these two different projects do. So they are both in the open telemetry ecosystem, but, and also in the already space and uh, in the CNCF ecosystem, but they do two different things. Uh, open telemetry is focused on generating the telemetry data. It helps you generate all the three signals. So it can helps you uh, generate logs data, metrics data, traces data, and then because it's a common data format, you can correlate across that much easily using that format, provided the uh, backend which you use for it supports it. So a typical flow would be an application sends data to an hotel collector, uh, that sends data to a hotel collector service, and then you have a backend analysis tool like Signals, which helps you make sense of this data. Uh, while Jaeger is focused primarily on traces, it doesn't worry about logs or metrics. Uh, it has only one goal to support tracing. It supports though also the visualization part of it and also long-term storage part of it. So it can support different data stores like Cassandra and Elasticsearch where you can store this data in longer term, right? So if you fundamentally look, look into it, Jaeger fits this part of the open telemetry diagram or this part of the open telemetry diagram, but only for traces. There are other products like Signals, which takes care of all different uh, observatory signals like metrics, traces, log in a single product, but Eager's primary focus is on traces, right? So that's one difference. Open telemetry works with all the three signals, generates all these three signals, while uh, Jaeger only focuses on one signal. The second key difference is Jaeger doesn't worry about generating data. It's more focused on the UI and the visualization and how you can store it for longer term. While Open Telemetry's main focus is on the generation part. How can uh, telemetry data be generated and then be forwarded to the right destination. So the, these are two different scopes. Though, where do these projects combine? What you can do today is you can generate data in open telemetry format for traces and then send to uh, Jaeger and then you can visualize it directly. So that's how you can work with open telemetry and Jaeger directly to solve a particular use case of visualizing your traces. And recently, uh, I think uh, there was a post where, uh, so in uh, Jaeger version 1.35, and native support for open telemetry was also introduced to Jaeger. Before this, people used to uh, have used the open telemetry Jaeger exporter to export data in a format which is Jaeger compatible. But now users can directly send open telemetry data and visualize it in Jaeger. So that's where these two projects combine. You can generate data through open telemetry and then visualize through Jaeger, but the scope of these two projects is different. 
I hope uh, this is clear to you. If you have any questions or need any further explanation on any specific things, feel free to write in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer.